Java exception handling. This demonstration is about uh, multiple catch block. So we have a class called multiple catch demo and inside the main method we create an object of it and we have two methods we have a method called execute I equals one get int value get URL object else get a URL object Inside the get int value method, you have integer dot pass int and say the URL object, you have this. And we have few exceptions. We are in one here, we are catching one number format exception. And next we are catching malformed URL exception and finally exception. So this order is important because if you know that the exception is uh, at the top of the hierarchy. So it should be at the end. So if we have exception here. And remove this one. So the program will not come to line 21 because all the exceptions are handled in line 19 from this line. So there will be a message unreachable catch block for malformed URL exception. It is already handled by catch block for exception. So this order is really important. We have we have it like this then it's correct and if we run this there won't be any issues this is also correct and this URL is also correct both are correct so if we put some numbers some letters here and run this you can see inside number format exception for input string 110 if we said def and so on so number format exception is thrown and this line is printed so if we remove this part from the URL And run it again you can see malformed URL exception also there you have number format exception due to this string and malformed URL exception due to this URL. So if we correct this URL, you can see the malformed URL exception is not there. So we only have the number format exception. If we correct this one, There won't be any issues. This is about multiple catch blocks, Java exception handling.